A very good afternoon, everyone. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I constitute this assembly a congregation of the University of Cape Town. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. I invite the President of the Student Representative Council, Slabulo Korombi, to read the University Dedication. I beg your pardon, it's the Vice President of the SRC, Mr. Jeffrey McQuen. Greetings everyone. Um, my name is Jeffrey McQuen and I'm the SRC Vice President for 2023-2024. Before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge first the presence of the Chancellor of the University of Cape Town and acknowledge the presence of the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Town, acknowledge the presence of the Dean of Science. I have not seen the Dean of Law, but I'll also acknowledge uh, the Dean of Law. And also acknowledge and congratulate our graduates um, we are very proud, we are aspiring to be in the position that you are in. And from going forward, we are going to ensure that we found, find ourselves in those, that position. At this time of celebration, we, the members of the University of Cape Town, reaffirm our mission to nurture rational and creative thought and free inquiry, to strive for excellence in teaching and research, to educate for life and to address the challenges of our society. We undertake to advance these ideals in a spirit of freedom, responsibility, and through consultation and debate. We celebrate our founders, benefactors, and predecessors, those who have built the fabric and nourished the values of UCT. To those of you who will graduate today, we wish you courage, wisdom, and purpose. To those who leave the university to learn and work elsewhere, may you be sustained by those values which unite us here today and advance them in the world beyond. A love of truth and of learning and of this and of our university. Thank you. Please be seated. Chancellor, University of Cape Town, members of council, colleagues, 
distinguished guests, our graduands and our honorary graduand, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. It's a great pleasure to welcome you here to this historic occasion, this graduation ceremony, uh, during which we will pay tribute to and celebrate the achievements of more than 200 newly, quite, qu uh, newly qualified graduates, each from the Faculty of Law and also the Faculty of Science. We're especially excited to graduate a total of six new doctoral candidates who have contributed to the global body of knowledge with their fundamental research. We will, however, now begin the celebrations with two special offerings. The first will be a performance by students from the College of Music. Um, and so I'm delighted to invite soprano Molly Zangare to perform for us today. Sim. 
our, uh, our vibrant South African College of Music is considered to be a rare gem, offering a diverse range of genres of music, from African and world music, classical, jazz, music technology, and opera, with exceptional standards of pedagogy, research, and performance. The Prelude Music and the National Anthem were accompanied on the organ by postgraduate UCT student, Dale DeVint. Dale is currently completing his postgraduate diploma in organ performance. He is director of music at St. Mary's Cathedral and a member of the Cape Town Baroque Orchestra, where he plays the harpsichord and organ continuo. In 2023, Dale made his debut with the UCT Symphony Orchestra, performing the Saint-Saëns Organ Symphony. Pianist Michaela Porter accompanied soprano Molly Zangare, who sang A Je veux vivre by Charles Gounod. Pianist Michaela Porter is the winner of several local and national piano competitions and has performed as a soloist in the Artscape Concerto Festival and the Hugo Lamprex Concerto Festival. She is currently in her third year working towards a B.Muz Bachelor of Music Performance degree under Professor Francois de Tuy at UCT. Soprano Molly Zangare was awarded first prize at the 2023 Aviva Pelham Operetta Competition and made a debut in the leading role of Julieta in Opera UCT's production of The Tales of Hoffman at the Baxter. Last week, she won second prize in the 2024 FOCTO Bursary Competition. This year, she is graduating with a diploma in music performance from Opera UCT. The procession was led by Sky Dludler and Black Roots Marimbas, a neo-traditional indie band that comes from Guguletu. The band is made up entirely of UCT students and alumni. Ladies and gentlemen, let's thank our musicians once again. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you for the award of the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, Brian John Huntley. South Africa has remarkable biological richness with many unique plants arranged in diverse landscapes. Savannas, grasslands, Karoo, famous forest with parallels in our diverse ocean life. We enjoy this diversity in our gardens, parks, diverse cuisine, clothes, ornaments, research opportunities and conservation challenges as intrinsic to our South African heritage. Over 50 years, Brian Huntley has been extraordinarily influential in shaping the lives of generations of people intrigued by our biological riches. He began as a field ecologist working in the remote wilderness of the subantarctic islands and then in the ecosystems of Angola. There, his interests have continued right to the present where he edited the first review of biological knowledge of that country and published a 2023 textbook on its ecology. Between 1975 and 1989, he joined the CSIR, where he helped initiate and administer its environmental cooperative science programs. He had recognized the value of the biome concept, that life is organized into natural entities biomes with distinct attributes and ecologies, 
and realized that this would be a way of organizing research and researchers across our large and diverse country. The Savannah Biome Project was the first, a pioneering enterprise in big science ecosystem ecology, the first outside the Northern Hemisphere. The body of researchers produced, such as the late Bob Scholes, led to Africa becoming the natural testing ground for novel technologies, including satellite sensing for wildfires, so that for many years we, remained the we retained the technological lead over the other southern continents, including Australia, I have to add. Sure. Um, so that for many years, um, here in the Cape, the Fambos Biome and Karoo Biome projects flourished. The Biome programs helped to train cohorts of competent researchers, including many UCT professors, confident in their science and capable of giving an African perspective on the international stage. An offshoot with growing public awareness of our biological treasures in the famous and the Karoo, informed by growing scientific knowledge of their intricacies and functioning. It is testimony to Brian Huntley's extraordinary vision that the biome programs continue to this day, despite major changes in the way research is administered. In 1990, Brian was appointed chief executive of the precursor to SANBI, the South African National Biodiversity Institute, and its network of botanical gardens. His entrepreneurial spirit galvanized SANBI and Kirstenbosch in the post-apartheid decades. He reorganized research at SANBI, giving researchers purpose and resources on topics most relevant to the country including the foundational systematics and species collections, threatened species studies, new national vegetation maps, conservation planning, climate change research, land degradation threat, indigenous plant use and selection and breeding of garden plants, the beginnings of citizen science, and more. As just one example, Sandby produced the first report for the general public on climate change impacts on our plants. Brian, together with Sandby researchers Guy Midgley and Barney Hoppe, were the first scientists to brief President Mbeki and his cabinet on climate change in the early 2000s. Guy and Barney retain their involvement in global change research to this day. Brian was instrumental in the process that led to the establishment of Sabernet a network of botanists across the South African countries, Southern African countries, which revitalized herbaria across the region in a south-south response to the UN Convention on Biodiversity. To do so, he had to wear down bureaucratic inertia, persisting for years, and finally receiving a grant from the Global Environment Facility to fund the initiative. This provided the wherewithal for infrastructure and training for 120 young professionals from 10 African countries, many of whom are still active in the field today. With the experience gained, he was able to help countries across Africa and indeed on other continents, such as Brazil, to help access this funding to train environmental professionals. So a generous man. During his tenure at Sandby, Brian Huntley also expanded and improved the infrastructure of our National Botanical Gardens. Kirstenbosch has become a world-class attraction for lovers of gardens, including researchers from across the globe. He introduced the hugely successful Kirstenbosch Concerts. If you haven't been there, do take a chance, which attracted thousands more to the gardens, helping to make this and our other National Botanical Gardens attractive centers for cultural events. Brian Hutty's diverse contributions to ecological science, to conservation, to administration, to the training of generations of researchers in South Africa and beyond, to botanical gardens and environmental awareness more generally have been widely acknowledged by numerous honors from around the world. Chancellor, 
I have the honor to present to you for the award of the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, Ryan Huntley. just been privileged to be addressed by an Imbongi, a composer and an orator of poems of praise. Imbongi offer critical commentary and narrative on the state of society through their easy bongo. The poem of praise, called an umbongo, was offered in honor of the graduates, their families, and their teachers. The praise poet for today's ceremony was Neliswa Sampi. Niliswa describes herself as a vocalist, dancer, percussionist, and composer who performs across multiple genres that include Afropop, Afro-Jazz, Gospel, and South African music. She is a graduate of UCT and holds an honors degree in education in curriculum studies. Sincere thank you to Nilisa Sampi for her poem of praise. Thank you. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I admit to the degrees specified and grant the diplomas specified to the candidates recorded as in absentia. I shall now grant the diplomas and admit to the degrees specified the candidates to be presented to me. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you For the degree of Master of Laws, Lulama Daryl Kuzwail. <laughs> For the Postgraduate Diploma in Law, Kamwanya Priscil Mantombo.
with the degree of Master of Laws in International Trade Law, Nadja Charlene Folkson. For the degree of Master of Laws in Environmental Law, Mbali Sbahle Gomede. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Raven Pearl Barnes. Azra Bazir. <laughs> Sinekaya Zanele Njovu. For the degree of Master of Laws in Intellectual Property Law, Kotha Kaska. <laughs> Sitembile Sietaba Nyawose. Koliswa Vuisile Tolo. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Sebitsemang Semuli. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Moana Livawani Ramrunzi. <laughs> Oliver Ian Yates. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Ibiemi Ruth Ola Yenikan. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Amir Saeed Mohammed. Matthew Aidan Strawn. For the degree of Master of Laws, Savannah Tuscany Smith. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Mohammed Fadil Parker. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Corey Lamont Mbonge. For the Postgraduate Diploma in Law, Lauren Jade Moose. Aisha Parker. For the degree of Master of Laws in Intellectual Property Law, Loretta Nyanchoka Osoro. For the degree of Master of Laws in International Trade Law, Tinashe Eric Famba. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Dumolutle Mazwemuzini Gordon Moyo. (laughs) 
for the degree of Postgraduate Diploma in Law with distinction, Duffy Andrew David. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Kanisa Michelle Macapella. <laughs> Rendani Mbara. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Olivia Rose Meltzer. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Julia Eve Rosenzweig. <laughs> Jared Shawkind. <laughs> Vinayak Pandey. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Rudawashe Rushwaya. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Mwaiwatu Majawa. Molefi Michael Monsantelli. For the degree of Master of Laws, Esther Barbara Wambui Karanja. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law with distinction, Gabby Richard Smith. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Komanani Motlaba. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Internet Intellectual Property Law, Bontle Monia. For the degree of Master of Laws in the Law of Mineral and Petroleum Extract and Use, Rihupisi Ri Kavari. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Meameno Tuafeni Nepembe. For the degree of Master of Laws in the Law of Mineral and Petroleum Extract and Use, with distinction, Anna Grace Mkucha. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Kyle Fredericks. For the degree of Master of Laws in the Law of Mineral and Petroleum Extract and Use, Raquel Nsudila Lula Jonathan. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Intellectual Property Law, Kuki Bolele. For the degree of Master of Laws in the Law of Mineral and Petroleum Extract and Use, Riverashe Makonese. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Ruth Rebecca Mirembe.
for the degree of Master of Laws in Intellectual Property Law, Tarina Moodley. <laughs> Zoe Chiara Almano. <laughs> Riley Carlisle Adams. Abdullah Effendi. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Grant Gareth Bayers. Hannah Page Brunt. Janae Boyson. <laughs> Sanda Nyoka. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws Cum Laude, Lula Rachel Grant. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Pelokazi Tsengiwe. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Shipping Law, Stephen Matthew Nordier. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Sipenkosin Hlango. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Ukanyo Kuniso Madakane. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, by Abongas Pelele Mieni. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Reese Abrams. <laughs> Wajiha Tajuddin. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Tracy Jenner Powell. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Martinique Raquel Peterson. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Gina Robin Wilson. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Ah Young Kim. David Thomas Golding. <laughs> Ariella Gemma Klug. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws Cum Laude, Annabella Sylvie Stern. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Neo Mavia Pilane. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Talita Tulani Wayne. <laughs> 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 
Nicholas Lawrence de Nobrega. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws Magna Cum Laude, Art Weinberg. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Langeliche Denzel Mslongo. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Cum Laude, Daniel Robert Erasmus. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Douglas Allen Boer. Tracy Ann Damolira. Annalisa Senetemba Zungu. Bonolo Masabata Marocane. <laughs> Denai Anita Zimwasha. <laughs> Julia Elizabeth Lambrecht. Michael Stewart Gill. <laughs> Thomas Anthony James Sanderlands. <laughs> Michelle Roslyn Tallis. Emma Jane Quiding. <laughs> Olivia Louise Wimberley. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws Magna Cum Laude, Daniel Simon Dix. For the degree of Master of Laws with distinction, Ruvimbo Anna Musvaiviri. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Scott Richard Warwick. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Rafilwe Tapiwe Nfila. <laughs> Peter Wallace Kazamula Matebula. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in the Law of Mineral and Petroleum Extract and Use, Sipamandla Chaka. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Mugove Beryl Chiwashira. <laughs> For the Postgraduate Diploma in, Diploma in Law, Elizabeth Earhart. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Tandokazi Matakata. For the degree of Master of Laws in Shipping Law, Jordan Clutie. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Magna Cum Laude, Joshua Stephen Van Rain.
for the degree of Bachelor of Laws Cum Laude, Kanye Simpiwe Dambuza. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Cara Rebecca Whittle. Asanda Pumalele Nkobo. Julia May Walensky. For the degree of Master of Philosophy, Mabato Celebelli. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Simola Nchiwua Maboya. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Cum Laude, Sajida Simji. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Graham Mark Irvine. Jade Marjorie Smith. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Erin Dean Peterson. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law with Distinction, Fabian Nicholas Scheifner. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law with Distinction, Sophie Savoli. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Daniel Jacob. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Zunga Alec Simbualanga. For the degree of Master of Laws, Fiona Laleli Fiebig. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Courtney Douglas. Courtney Ann Kennedy. For the degree of Master of Laws in Shipping Law, Tamara Munya Baranga. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Shivali Chandapal. <laughs> Mulanga Mugivi. <laughs> Keomachetswe Musi. For the degree of Master of Laws in Marine and Environmental Law, Carolyn Lee Kistadu. <laughs> Carmen Dodd. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Marsha Ovi Machika. For the degree of Master of Laws in Environmental Law with Distinction, Joanne Jolene Berry. For the degree of Master of Philosophy, Malusi Nzama.
for the degree of Master of Laws in Environmental Law, Celine Tyler Oates. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Stephanie Ellis. Brad Somerset Brinkley. Garakishore Das Mudli. Matt Levy. Jared Levy. For the degree of Master of Laws in International Trade Law, Daniel Colin Costling Bolt. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Sasha Porsche Africa. For the degree of Master of Laws in Shipping Law with Distinction, Megan Molly Canning. For the degree of Bachelor Laws, Emilio Raymond Nomdo. Nuran Amino. Natasha Esther Tunison. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Magna Cum Laude, Amy Frith Duplessis. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Asibonge Nkrubani Hadabaningi Sitole. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Jason Andrew Shepherd. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Mohale Kwada Amisi Mapila. Aaron Joshua Tiflin. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law with Distinction, Giela Liebenberg. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, William Colin Hain. For the degree of Master of Laws in Intellectual Property Law, Nishat Slamdin. For the degree of Master of Laws in International Trade Law, Mpeo Patricia Matsipa. For the degree of Master of Laws in Intellectual Property Law, Matlongonolo Thomas. For the degree of Master of Laws in Labor Law with Distinction, Celia Nietling. For the degree of Master of Laws in Labor Law, Law Zahir Parker. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Wavudi Madende. Kachiso Sophie Tobijane. <laughs> For, 
for the degree of Master of Laws in the Law of Mineral and Petroleum Extract and Use, Njeza Ander Douglas. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Tokozo Mayakiso. <laughs> Ntombifuti Kamanga. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Shipping Law, Kaushin Khan. For the degree of Master of Laws, Samantha Nobubele Mkandla. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Nicole Gina Hebblethwaite. Sipo Esile Josejo Tlajole. For the degree of Master of Laws in Tax Law, Jarrett Cole Reddy. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Luciano Luis Reyes Fernandez. For the degree of Master of Laws in Tax Law, Zanti Matatela Nabi. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Luyanda Njabulo Gumede. For the degree of Master of Laws in Dispute Resolution, Tatu Anea Kokong. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Joanne Stark. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, cum laude, Lawrence Benedict Spearman Malt. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, cum laude, Julian David Spearman Malt. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Radapriya Ramjatan. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Yumna Edris. <laughs> Adele Maylene van Breda. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law with Distinction, Daniel Jakubus Rufus Dirksen. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Vazila Baker. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Fabian Sebulime. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Tandekile Martha Sindiswe Gladla. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Petrus Karakwa Leonard. For the degree of Master of Laws in Shipping Law, Jordan Tannen Morgan. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Gizem Tursun.
for the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Audrey Tirivanu. <laughs> for the degree of Master of Laws in Environmental Law, Ntombi Futi Flata Futi Mvundla. For the degree of Master of Laws in Commercial Law, Katlejo Kenneth Ntahale. For the degree of Master of Laws in Dispute Resolution, James George Warrington. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you for the degree of Master of Science, Malefu Mamedupi Latuba. For the degree of Master of Science, Akinwale Ridwan Oladimeji. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Mfundo Eugene Mabuza. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Michael Ryan Wade. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Michaela Tuck. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Daniela Mangwana. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Cale Neville Boyce. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Superior Morgan Bogatsu. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Karabo Hadebe. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Neo Bonolo, Mary Stella Metzing. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Sinakolo Madasi. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Akira Banwari. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Keen Roy Wanza. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Clear Baker Welch. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Amber Louise Wilson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Refilo Lerato Molia. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Kelly Ann Shaw.
for the degree of Bachelor of Science honors Ahmad Gur. For the degree of Bachelor of Science honors in the first class, Christine Ellison Hovey. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Kayur Ranchard. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, David Lee White. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Ben Louis van Hastian. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Jacob Andrew Elkington. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Carl Martin Brand. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Olivia Rose Imson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Isabella Tanza. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Erin Heath. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Shreya Kosal. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Tariro Nathan Banganai. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Holly Ellis Judge. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Savannah Maya Anderson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Amber Kate Snedden. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Sophia Merritt Olivia. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Orefile Marule. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Maganyase Elias Sishlangu. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Loazi Sibeko. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Shannon Kim Misplan. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Rele Bohile, Caroline Mbongo. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Melissa Chengetai Zinyuku. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Carlton Mondliwetu Ndlovu. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Mikulun Jason Nadarajan. For the degree of Master of Science with distinction, Jake Hector Stangroom. For 
for the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Yi Jo Lee. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Frank Slay Smuts. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Maria Alexia Caldas. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Oliver James Angus Borg. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Claire Fielden. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Christopher Peter Lamprecht. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Cameron Lee Worthington. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Jared Gansera. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Motibi Matiba. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Mohammed Sayed Ghul. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Ivana Schaefer. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Zain Dino Perry. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Nikita Busholo. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Mtokozisi Innocent Ndumo. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Shakira Dawood. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Sanuri Modli. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Atule James. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Chelsea Lucinda Janssen. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Gundo Madiba. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Mpulusi Nekabambe. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Victor Molloy. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Tumisho Gabanangata. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Omri Sean Scannell. For the degree of Master of Science with distinction in the dissertation, Matthew Bryan Gabin. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Mandilake Nathan Kolwana. For 
for the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Tadia Wanashe Oliver Maguenzi. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Adib Gaby. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Rashil Vallab. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Leila Varachia. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Muchizi Alushia Ganyani. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Nivesh Naidu. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Muhammad Akif Hasim. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Daniel Edward Samai. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Tumelo Pamela Matobo. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Nicholas Yerilamau. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Camilla Lowe. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Hannah Jasset. For the degree of Master of Philosophy, Annalise Christine Kotzer. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Francois Dutoy. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Mohammed Tariq Mauza. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Joshua Charles Anderson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Devon Young. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Chang Chi Yu. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Adam Guy Via. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Liam Ethan Talberg. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Sammy Lee Nell. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Lesedi Lale. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Aminul Hussain. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Joshua Daniel Brown. For 
for the degree of Bachelor of Science honors Mohammad Adnan Natu. For the degree of Bachelor of Science honors in the first class, Gary Grant Lowe. For the degree of Bachelor of Science honors, Keegan Angus Peterson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science honors in the first class, Benjamin Brian Chidi. For the degree of Master of Science, Bulungisa Jarana. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Alice Robin Gwyn Evans. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Sian May Hisam Green. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Tessa Elizabeth Atwood. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Kelvin Swart. For the degree of Master of Science with distinction in the causal component, Ali Aonali Chandu. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors, Cameron Marcus Ramos Ribello. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Martin Vandenberg. For the degree of Master of Science with distinction, Rachel Nicola Swallow. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Timothy James Hitke. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Tristan Matthew Jackelman. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Amelia Elizabeth Wilson Mills. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Joel Liam Redu. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Jade Christine Simon. For the degree of Master of Science with distinction, Jean-Francois Duplessis. For the degree of Master of Science with distinction, Mignon van der Watt. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in the first class, Shailen Chetty. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors, Nikita Amber Erasmus. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors, Nuranish Apples. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors, Letuve Pimelo Makolane.
for the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours Ande and Sika Jlamini. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Christopher John Dennison Farah. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Sibusiso Kuzwayo Jlamini. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Tabiso Nokutula Nkadimeng. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Michaela Lee Dale. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, David Pullinger. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Kaira Lutian Kuma. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours and Sophie Makrit Pretorius. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Lara Catherine Featherstone. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Connor Khorsen. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Anna Marie Fostovsky. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Daniel Simon Gutmann. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Tanatswa and Tando Namato. For the degree of Bachelor of Science, Samira Kabir. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Masamat Sabiha Sheikh. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Fardoza Tohab. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Kristen Jody Basson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in the first class, Esther Berger. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Claire Helen Roberts. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, Shane Carmen Norman. For the degree of Master of Science, Nikhil Ramraj. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the award of the, de of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy.
Today marks the culmination of years of dedication and hard work. This occasion is not just a reflection of individual accomplishments, but a testament to the collective pursuit of knowledge through conducting groundbreaking research, fostering of interdisciplinary collaborations, stimulating academic debates, and the mentoring of the next generation of scholars. As you move forward, remember that your education does not end here. It merely transforms into a new phase where you will continue to ask questions, seek answers, and make meaningful contributions in your respective fields and society at large. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled Identification of New Therapeutic Compounds Against Carbapenemase Producing Klebsiella Pneumonia Using a Novel Agar-Based High-Throughput Microarray Compound Screening Approach, Zandile Pearl Mashlangu. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled Anorundo Muridzi Wayo, The Changing Nature of Archaeological Research and Heritage Management at Great Zimbabwe, Genius Tevera. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled The Optical Polarization Variability of the Blazer PKS2155304 Nicolette Vilda Pecure. <laughs> for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled the performance of a field-scale biofiltration cells in reducing nutrient-rich surface runoff from an informal settlement in South Africa. Civile Abednego Mgese. <laughs> for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled Molecular Modeling Studies of Carbohydrate Vaccine Antigens Informing the Future of Vaccine Design, Nicole Inger Richardson. <laughs> for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled Tava Bosio, The Birthplace of the Bosutu Nation, a historical archaeological study in Tabiseng Mokoena. <laughs> for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled Investigating the Tropic e Ecologies of Early Life Stages of small pelagic fishes in the Benguela upwelling ecosystem, Matthew Christopher Horton. Chancellor, Council Members, Senate Members, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, all of us, all of us at UCT join our graduates and their loved ones in celebrating your accomplishments, graduates. And on behalf of the entire institution, I congratulate you most warmly. I also congratulate most warmly Professor Brian Huntley on the award to him of the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Let's give them all another hand. Mm -hmm. 
we pay, we pay tribute to your achievements because these are considerable, so you can take real pride in being here today. As new alumni, our graduates have become, as of today, members of UCT Convocation, the ever-growing body of graduates and staff members of the university. Graduates, we hope that you will continue to support us, that you will leave with good memories of this place, and that you will take with you not only your particular qualification, but also something of the values of UCT. Values such as critical inquiry, tolerance, respect for the views of others, and of a concern for justice, fairness, and equity. In recognizing your achievements, we also pay tribute to all who have stood by you in many ways during your years of study. We're all too conscious of the pressures, academic, personal, financial, and of the support and the sacrifices made by family members, loved ones, and those who provided material support over the long years of study and hard work. Today's milestone is also a result of the efforts and the expert guidance of the academic staff, your professors, lecturers, tutors, as well as the professional administrative and support staff, together with members of the executive, the leadership of the university. So I now invite all our new graduates to rise to your feet and wave your diplomas in acknowledgement of all those who stood behind and beside you on your journey to graduation. Thank you. I now invite the Chancellor to address the congregation. It is such a privilege to be part of this um, auspicious occasion. Congratulations once more to every one of you, and thank you to all the parents, loved ones, and everyone that supported you through this journey. You might be considering this ceremony as a way of saying goodbye, to Cape Town, to UCT. But in fact, graduation reinforces your membership to this University of Cape Town. You are not leaving UCT. Instead, you are taking UCT with you. You're taking with you your well-end qualifications, including the knowledge and experience you have gained. You're taking with you the mission of Vision 2030, that is to unleash human potential and to create a fair and just society. Most importantly, you're taking with you the person you have become during your time at UCT. Believe it or not, you are not the same person you were when you arrived. You may not welcome all the changes that you have experienced whilst you were studying, but each one of you or each one of them can contribute to your maturity, your compassion, your wisdom as you enter your future. You're also taking with you the lessons that you have learned from the people you have met at UCT. 
You've had opportunities to observe and learn from your teachers and colleagues to form relationships with other students and members of the UCT community, to find your way around the University of Cape Town, as well as the city of Cape Town. You've had an opportunity to upgrade the technology that you work with and to discover new talents or spots, new groups of people and friends that you connected with. Now, these connections do not necessarily end with this graduation. I encourage you to stay in touch with the people who have become important to you, to continue to build on the new skills and talents that you've discovered within yourself, to take the initiative to become a lifelong learner, to carry the values UCT represents into your future career, to help unleash potential, the potential of others and yourself to help build a fair and just society. This is the key to creating a sustainable world. Analysts and consultants talk about networking as a valuable resource, but in fact, what they are referring to is community building. I became chancellor of UCT to help build the campus community and to take UCT community values into the world. You will find that your studies and your experiences at UCT have only just begun to release your potential. As emerging leaders and trailblazers in the science and law, I encourage you to dream big and dare greatly in your efforts to enrich the lives of others. To continue this important process, I invite you to commit to three things. First, commit to exploration. Feed your curiosity. Read about things that interest you. Share what you have learned with others. And second, commit to lifelong learning. Listen to people who think differently from you and show them respect. University is not the only place for exchanging ideas and knowledge. And finally, Commit to serving others. You've heard the phrase, lift as you rise. When you lift others, you will find that they can lift you in return in ways that you could not have imagined. And please do let us know how you're doing out there in the world. As alumni of UCT, you will be receiving emails about the institution, but we also want to hear from you. This is your community, and you have the power to shape it. I certainly look forward to hearing about the ways you will find to unleash yourself and your potential to the world and to bring others along with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chancellor, for those inspiring and affirming words. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony is about to come to a conclusion. Um, in a short while, the Chancellor will dissolve the congregation. Um, I'll ask you at that stage uh, to stand and to remain standing until the procession has left the hall. Then graduates, if you would please join the procession as it leaves the hall and proceed, make your way to the bottom of the steps as far as University Avenue. Thank you very much. Um, 
I now hand over to the Chancellor to dissolve the congregation. Would you please, would you please stand? By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I hereby dissolve this congregation of the University of Cape Town. Thank <laughs> you.